don't know if the GoPro's working. I just had a big fall off my bike. I think, I think one of the gorilla cages caught in the front wheel and it stopped dead and I just went over the top and the bike somersaulted. I've really hurt my arm. I smashed my phone. I don't know if this is working, but Jesus, my arm is killing. Oh God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. second season. So you've just seen a clip of me just after I fell off my bike in Spain exactly a year ago. Uh, the gorilla cage fell into the wheel and I had a big crash, broke my shoulder. Um, I'm giving the gorilla cages a second chance because I think it was my fault it uh, failed and fell into the wheel. Uh, I've made some improvements to the setup so I'm going to refit them to the bike today. Now, after the disaster I had with my gorilla cage um, on my last tour, uh, where I had these floppy bags and it fell into the wheel and sent me over the handlebars. So I've actually bought the proper gorilla cage dry bags. They're much bigger, much stiffer. On each side are these um, loops and you feed the straps through. And this orange thing is what slots into the cleats that you've stuck onto the forks. Um, so you can pull the bag off, um, you know, off, off the cleats in one go if you need it to come off. Um, it's a bit fiddly uh, feeding all the Velcro straps through the loops. It took a while, but um, I think it's going to be a much safer <laughs> solution. Um, so when you're going to fit your gorilla cage it's really important to um, do it on the brake side first because you've got a lot more things to clear so what I've done is I've put the cleats on properly onto the bag as you can see we've got the camper, the brake line, the disc. So you don't want a cable tie in between that tiny gap where the disc is. So let's get the cleats stuck on.
just see just how close it gets to the disc and it would in, um, it would clash if you had it too low down so I haven't so. quite tightened it yet um, I've just slipped the uh, bag on and the bracket just to make sure I've got it right with the clearance here uh, it looks okay but yeah it's, it's actually quite uh, difficult to work out where to put it and as you can see there's nothing on the other side that it's going to clash with so it's all about avoiding the brakes and the brake pipe I think we'll be alright so I can finish it off so um so pulling the cable ties on these uh, gorilla cages is actually quite awkward because um, how they've designed it so the head sits into this recess um, as soon as you pull it you tighten the cable tight it pulls it out of the recess <laughs> so it's a little bit awkward so I've got I'm borrowing my landlord Paul's giant swan necks to give them a yank I can't get at his smaller ones so these are gonna have to do So I'm just putting the other side on. I'm not going to cut, cut these off flush in case they settle a bit more and then I've got something to pull them through with. So I'm going to cut them with 10 mil, 10 mil spare. These are a bit blunt. Um, now I'm going to add the two velcro straps that come with it so I'll just put those on so one will come through the loop here around the back of the fork and then through the loop on the other side here so uh, let's get that done I've had to just rush and put them on quickly because um, Look at the sky, it's gone really black. It's gonna chuck it down. Yeah, it's gonna chuck it down any moment, so I need to hurry to get this inside. And also, I need to get the washing in and all my other junk. So uh, I'll hurry up and do that. And then through this loop, Tighten. And then the lower one, again, this one's black, it's got the silicon on the back. When I think how badly I'd fitted them last time and not with the um, proper bags, um, God, I was so lucky that um, it fell off into the wheel when I wasn't on the edge of a precipice because I rode on some big cliffs, especially down El Choro, and 
I'd have probably died. But uh, you live and learn. But why I need these is because I've got a full suspension bike um, with forks, uh, dampers, and um, they don't have any uh, threaded nuts that you can screw other fork cages onto. So I'm using these ones. They were the best option I could find. Um, they're a bit fiddly to set up. Once you set them up, um, they'll be fine. Um, so I'll close this video here and uh, you'll be seeing me sometime soon. So bye for now. The Cha Cha Cha